Hello. How about now? We're waiting to see whether the stream works. Oh! Oh, it randomly worked! Right, hello! Hello there. I'm, uh, I'm doing a stream. I am. And I'll tell you about it in just a moment. You probably already know what it is. There we go! Right. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do then. We'll load the game. Doof. And here we are. Hello, everybody. Um, this is The Settlers 2, um, which we've played before, of course. And in fact, we've played this level before, twice. But I am doing better at it this time. So just to give you a little rundown if you're new to this. Uh, here are the lovely little fellas, and they're all walking about, and they're all doing their jobs. See this man here with a plank of wood? He's gone quite far with his plank of wood, unless he, oh, perhaps he hit another bloke and turned into him. Because <laughs> that's what happens. Um, when you hit a person, you turn into them. Look at all the men carrying the planks of wood. They carry them to flags, they plop them down at the flags, and then they leave them for the next person. Um, this is true of everything that this whole civilization has. There is unplanked wood there. They're taking it to the sawmill. Oh, is he going straight into the sawmill? Let's see, where are they off to? Yes. Oh, it's the woodcutter. That's not the sawmill. What am I talking about? That's the sawmill. And here's a little man. And he's in the sawmill and he's making planks. This helper has just put some more logs in there. And in a minute, some planks of wood are going to come out of there. There's a little mine. Anyway, so last time you might remember, I was trying to work my way north. And it went wrong because um, when I put my knights... You, you, you expand your land here. Here's the border, look. And you expand your land by putting down a knight's hut, and then a knight inhabits it, and then you put down your next knight's hut, and he inhabits that, and all the way across the level. Now, the problem with it is that you can't put knight's huts too close together. In fact, I'm surprised those two knight's huts are that close together. Maybe it's a trick of the landscape, you know, because that's very tall. Um, mm, I'm having a cup of tea. Um, I found that I couldn't put any more af after this because um, it just went wrong. So this time, I put this knight's hut a little bit further. I think I put it there first time. This time I put it further down, not right at the what was then the edge, so that I have so that this position here, which is like the last position you could put a knight on, is further away, um, because otherwise the game said, nope, that's too close, you can't have another knight's hut. And I was unable to expand across this bit of the mountain. This time I have, although that's as far as I can get, because... You can see here, you can only put flags down. But I am building this, which is going to be some kind of a guard tower. Yeah. Uh, because I know that some baddies are going to show up here. Here, on the mountain, we've got gold found in the hills. So this is going to be a gold mine. Here are some geologists wandering about. Knocking the floor with their little hammers and picks. Let's watch one. There he goes. Look, he's knocking about on the ground. He's not just knocking about on the ground. I mean, he's just arsing around. He's doing his job. As a kid, I was always confused as to whether geologists have some kind of like helmet on or if they're just a man with white hair and a white hair and a beard or white hair and a bear um still not sure in this game you know i thought that i was down on the side of it being white hair and a beard but i don't know when you look at this sprite when he starts from that from all angles it does look like hair and a beard until there where i don't know no oh, anyway that tower's going up uh, down here i'm waiting for a, a guard tower to be made there's going to be a farm there. And then down here, I'm expanding outwards this way. And here is a new knight's hut. And look, here is a knight about to inhabit it. There he goes. And when he does, this border is going to expand outwards and we'll be able to see further. Here we go. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, and we can see that there's an, an awful lot of mountain around here. So first thing we'll do is another knight's hut or barracks, as they're known in this game. Uh, I call them Night Hut because I'm speaking in Settlers 1 terminology, which was 
and drummed and drilled, bummed and billed right into my head uh, by Settlers 1 for an awful long time. So, you know, that's just what I'm used to. But we don't have to wait for the Dietzot to be built to see further. We can send out a little scout. There we go. Now, it's going to take him ages to get here because he has to come all the way from the... Well, again, I want to say the castle. I don't really know what it's called in this. Well, let's find out. Headquarters. Oh, I don't like that. We called the castle. Oh, here we are. There's a night top being built over here. And at this point, all we can really do is just sort of sit and wait. Uh, because, yes, look, see, the yellow team over here are encroaching on our borders. And don't be fooled by the fact that they have a Whittle Bunny. They are baddies. Well, they're not baddies, but... Uh, in fact, look at them. They've got little wooden uh, roofs on their pegs that they put out for their boundaries. We don't have that. Oh, so their culture is inherently better than ours. So really, perhaps we're the baddies. But we're going to carry on anyway. Trying to expand and expand across the universe? No, land. Uh, but it does, it does raise a question, which is when you reach the, the edges of what can be done what can be what land can be settled on what then where do we go then well the answer honestly is just you you sort of fight the uh, you pit your knights against the enemy knights and you basically conquer your way around the kingdom now the problem with that is that the you can do one or two fights but then your knights just sort of I find, kind of stop responding at that point, and it's because I've not done a good enough job building up the economy required to make knights, and I suppose that is probably the secret to playing settlers that I've never quite known, uh, is that actually, secretly what you're doing is you're not making a lovely little snuggly town with pigs in it and stuff. You are trying to make it so that your knights can survive, I guess? Um... You know? <clears throat> so, we have to. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know the answer to that. What do knights need? Let's find out. Get rid of all that. Don't need any of that. Throw them in the. The bin? The Graham Binahan. <laughs> Hello, Abby. Hello. Here's Abby. Okay, so let's have a look then at... Um... Oh, I know. At our build menu. If I find somewhere I could build a knight's hut... I wouldn't build one here, but let's see. No, that's not it. There's a there's something you can do that's like tells you what that tells you information about all the different things. Is it this? Yes, barracks. Here we go. A very small hut which can be used by your soldiers and quarters. Using the gold coin button, you can stop the delivery of gold coins to the soldier stationed here. However, without gold coins, soldiers cannot train and improve their skills. Right. So we need a flow of gold coins to their houses to get them to be good enough, essentially, to survive. And so for that, we need a gold mine. And we are currently building a gold mine, but it's taken ages, presumably because I'm building other nonsense. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we send out a scout? Why don't we send out a couple of scouts? Let's get a good look at the uh, the landscape. Oh, and I sent one out over here. Let's see how he's doing. There he is. There he goes, with his little uh, raccoon skin hat. And it would appear that the, the land does widen out over here. So, yes, we're right to expand in that direction. I uh, don't know if we're right to expand in this direction, but I want to anyway, because if I do, theoretically I can get up and round the mountain. Um. Hmm. Uh, 
Oh. Is there nowhere I can build this road? There's nowhere I can build that road. That's a shame, because I want to send a scout. Oh, well, I've already got two scouts coming up for this flag, so I don't, don't think I'll really need to. Um... Well, I guess we'll just sort of hang around and see what happens. So, yes, it's gold we're looking for. And here it is. Now, the trouble is, it's very likely that sometime soon the yellow team are going to take this land away. So, really, I want to mine as much gold from it as possible. Whoa! What happened there? <gasps> it's my lookout tower. Someone must have just occupied it. And now I've got this giant view of the area. Cool! I don't know that's how that worked. Well, can I preemptively attack them? No, I can't. Well, that's good, because that would not be a peaceful action. Would it? Oh, my scout's done ever so well over here. I think a big explore. Okay. Okay, I guess we're currently mining some gold. Oh no, he's still building it. Hmm. He seems to be hammering a hole onto the front of it. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? Could you see me trying to free my mouse pointer there and forgetting that it was trapped within the game? Well, you may remember that... Uh, I've been playing the Settlers 1 music under this game because I think it's much better than the Settlers 2 music. And then we moved on to Simon the Sorcerer, so let's just get our Amiga on. Yeah. Let's turn our Amiga up. Oh, there's a lot going on in the chat. Oh, golly. What's going on in the chat? Can you still hear me over the Settlers? Doo -dee -doo -doo. So, hello to Max. We already knew Max was here because he was in the one that didn't work a minute ago. Hello to Freaky Lady Moonbeam. They eat the farms. Who eats the farms? Hello, Wangleberry. Nice to see you around here. Yes, we have a pig farm. Oh, that's a point. And if we've got any wheat... Well, not really, but we've got a completed wheat farm, so he's going to make some wheat too. And when he does... Oh, and here, oh, there's a bit of wheat coming out here, which will be given to the pigs. And if you give wheat to a pig, that's right! Piglets! We've got some piglets now. We'll slaughter them. No, I'm afraid we will. And then, we'll take them to the Usha, which I haven't yet. know how to play this game. I just play a fiddle based on my memory of uh, fiddling when I was 11 years old on Settlers 1, at which age you really can dedicate yourself to some fiddling um, and you can figure out all the how a game works without having to really read the manual. I did read the manual, but I didn't really. Um, and so most of my ability to play this game is just kind of figured out. So what that means is, oh look, he's a bit of a so, sorry, some seeds there, oh, and they're immediately rearing. And uh, 
Yeah, so what that means is I don't actually know everything about how the game works, but I was just thinking, you know, usually you can kind of figure out, like, well, maybe you should be able to do this, and then you're like, well, look into it, and you find out that actually you can. For example, just now I was thinking, okay, so to expand your realm, you pop down Night's Hut after Night's Hut after Night's Hut after Night's Hut, and when that one's occupied, I'll have this bit of life, hopefully, right? But that mean that, and, and, and there's a reason for that mechanic, because it means that at the edge of your land there's always a night hut. And oh dear, look, they're building one now. And that means that that is going to eat into my land a bit. Not a, not a lot, because the, my board will sort of push against it, but I can then attack them with my nearest night hut. And if I win, then I get to claim the land that that night hut kind of owns. Just check, I can't do it here, no. So I was thinking, well, if that's the case, and if there's always a night at the edge, why do you need any night huts in the middle? Like this, this trail of night huts that, that, you know, was how I got there. How I pushed out this. Well, having thought that, I remember that there was, in the first uh, game, uh, something in the menu that allowed you to um, essentially tell the game to put all the knights in the edge buildings and not in the middle. So I'm going to look for that equivalent uh, command in just a moment. But I'm going back to the chat. So Wangleberry says you need more farms, about say 2,500 more. Yeah, I agree. They take a long time to build though. Are you a pig farm woman or a wheat farm woman? Or both? Do you just like the general idea of there being farms? It's all nice, isn't it? Fishing, yes, yes, yes. Do I have fishermen? Do I have any fishermen? I think that's our fishermen. Yes, but the thing is, see, I think there, Wangleberry, you're thinking in terms of how I did start playing this uh, when I started streaming it the other day, which is that I just put down what I want, and unfortunately, that is a path to failure. Um, and so this time, I'm trying to actually, I don't know, survive the, the level. Can I do that? We'll find out. Um, so I'm being a bit sparing. I'm just putting down the farms I need this time. But here's a lot of lovely farmland. Could it? Could it? Could it? Could it? What do I need the most of? Do I? Oh, sorry, everyone. I've just realised. Of course, you can't hear me very well. I turned my microphone down. Hang on. Do, 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 do. How's that? Any better? I turned my microphone down um, the other day. Well, basically I have to turn my microphone down in its settings to do any song recording. And uh, that is what I've done on this occasion. Now I'm clipping a little bit. Oh, that's annoying. Am I clipping now? Do, 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 do. Okay, what do we got? Hi from Matt and Tom. We're setting up our house. What? You've already got it? What, you mean setting it up like you're in it and you're moving stuff into it and unboxing things? Do you mean that? That's incredible. Oh, I've just remembered. I need a gold foundry. Where do I put my gold foundry? I need it for my knights. Um. Huh. I'm going to need some other stuff around it, aren't I? Well, okay, well, let's dedicate a space to a, to a barracks. And let's say, um... <clears throat> if I was to put... Well, let's say I put one there. Mint, that's right. The mint is responsible for producing gold. These precious objects are produced using coal... Oh, gold coins. Using coal and gold. Okay, so I've got gold. There'll be some coal that will go there. So that's fine. That's that's easy enough, isn't it? Uh, let's search the hills around here to find... Because there'll be some coal. It's really common. We just have to find out where it is and then use it. I mean, I've got a coal mine, so we're okay. Um, doop, do, do, do. Doop, do, 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 do. Doop, do, do, do. Doop, do, do, do. Doop, um, Wangleberry warns me I've got two pigeons. I've now got five pigeons. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, yes, of course. 
because that building got built. Uh oh, two knights are going to live there. Oh, ah, did you see that? One knight just went in here, so they're they're building up. Oh, but I can't attack for some reason. Why not? I've got knights in there. There's knights up here. Can't attack. Okay. Okay, so. Well, perhaps they still just need more of those gold coins. And if you click on a building, you can see what else they need. They need a gold coin. That's all they need. Oh, and they need... Oh, yeah, swords and shields. Oh, yeah, swords and shields. Have I even got, like, an iron... S swords and shields he set up? I don't think I have. What am I doing? Right, let's see where we can put things. Um, I need a good little patch. Over here is a good little patch. But is it any use? Need to wait and see what's in the mountains, really. Well, there's coal there, so I can get that. I need... Where's my iron? Is this iron? Oops. Coal mine. Iron mine, okay. Let's start putting it around here. Let's just see what we can do. Iron smelter. There we go, that's what I need. Put that there. And this. Give me my armory. There. No. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Well, you see. Oh, music's very loud. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not just that my voice is very quiet, because it because the the thing is kind of turned down really quite quietly. Uh, but I suppose you know you need it quiet if I'm going to be talking quietly. Um, have you got a goldsmith? Well, I'm just building it now to turn the ore into coins. Um, Suplex City says more singing, please. Well, the trouble with that is. Do, 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 do. My USB microphone is constantly going out of time with the music, and it's extremely annoying to listen to someone sing along out of time with the music, but you never know. Oh, what's it you mean, Wangleberry? Yeah, it's actually physically there outside the... Uh the mine, yeah, I should have spotted that, really. I'm an old hand at this, I don't know why I didn't notice that, but then, well, no, I'm an old hand at Settlers 1. Settlers 2 wasn't my bag before, but I'm quite enjoying it this time. Um, oh, I might as well have another coal mine, might not, it can't hurt. Since we've got some coal. Although, the... It's very tempting in this game to just click and click, like, oh, I want, I want, I want, and just put things. When sometimes you have to wait for the existing things to be built. You have to hold those horses. Okay, so we are down. We've got no coins. We've got no iron. Wait, we've got no iron? Iron ore. Oh, dear. So I actually do need... Do I need iron before I can have a weapon place? I bet I will. Oh, and I've got one. And what am I? What am I on about? I'm sleepy. All right, I'm sleepy, and I've deliberately put on a sleepy game to be sleepy with. How are you feeling, Abby? Are you sleepy? Yeah. It has been. It's been very, very warm. Alright, so we just sort of wait, really, and we just have a little look at what people are doing. There's a donkey going by, and yeah, there's a pig, and uh, that man's field is growing. They're all men in this one. We will be seeing women um, in later games, because as we know, it has to remain historically accurate, and women were invented later. <coughs> This is the uh, Roman times. 
no women yet. Uh, I think I ought to stake a claim over some of this mountain. Okay, so I'm going to delay the building. No, I'm not. That's fine. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Now can I attack? No, why not? There, oh, by the way, there was always talk... Um, in the olden days, there was there was talk of a sort of cheat you could do where... I don't know if this... I think it was in Settlers 1. Where if you managed to get your knight's hut, like, right close up to the edge in a way where it was right next to another knight's hut, you could, like, join the flags up and your guys could all just walk in here and do stuff. But I never got that to work. And I'm probably misrepresenting what it even was. And it might even have been false. Might have been a, a Luigi and Mario 64 situation. Do 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 Flippy doo doo, flippy doo doo. That's all right, Abby. Doo 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 doo. Doo 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 doo. Oh, now there's Wangleberry talking a bit of French. Let me see if I can remember any French. Um, I think she's saying something along the lines of, "Do you need more geologists?" Are you saying, "Do I need more geologists?" I don't know. Do I? To do what? To look. To look where I'm. Over here, maybe. Couldn't hurt, could it? Find out what's over there. Do do do. No. Do. Do. Okay, so look, everyone. Um, if I sound preoccupied, it's because there's something playing on my mind. Um, and it's that Return to the Forbidden Planet's back. Um, and if you recall, this was the thing that I went nuts so for. Uh, well, I was going to say around uh, our wedding. It was actually 1994. I went nuts so for it, and I remained nuts so for it. Until it and, it and it you know I saw it every year and it kept coming round and it's it's a stage show, it's sort of a musical, it's sort of a rock concert, it's sort of a spaceship situation. There's a fire breathing robot in it. Um, basically, they they make the stage out to look like a spaceship, and you are the passengers of the spaceship and they go into space, but the spaceship happens to operate on like guitars and drums and things, and those are dotted all around the stage, and the cast are amazing at like. They can literally... Uh, they don't do this often, because, you know... Budget and that, but... They can literally throw instruments to each other and just start playing them. Like, they all play multiple instruments. And so... There's a lot of very complex choreography involved as they sort of... Pilot the spaceship running from... You know, one control panel to another. And also using their trumpets and trombones and guitars and things... In ways that sort of appear to be... Tangentially related to piloting the ship. It's flipping brilliant. And, um... Big monster attacks the ship at one point. It's just great. You need to see it. Um, and it's... And now you can. It's back if you are in the south of England in August. Tickets are 20 quid. It's not in London. But it's in Eastbourne. So you're going to have to hop on a train uh, from London. But it's well, well worth it. So look that up. Return to the Forbidden Planet Eastbourne. I think it's... Devonshire Theatres, um, all those words together ought to get you what you need. Or just look on my Twitter where I have posted it and will continue to post it. Or search on YouTube for Cardboard Box Wipeout where you will see me playing Wipeout on a cardboard box in tribute to Return to the Forbidden Planet because that is what they use for their spaceship launch sequence. The, uh, the engines are drum kits and you get these two guys syncing up Wipeout. It's flipping amazing. Um... I have... That's still at the end... Because I can't edit the uh, annotations anymore because YouTube have decided in their 
vast wisdom that we shouldn't be allowed to, that the end of that video remains an advert for the now closed down 2015 production, which is where Abby and I spent our... Uh, Abby just gave you a little woohoo there, um, but I talked over it. Spent our uh, wedding night, uh, you know, in, in lieu of a reception, we basically had all our friends come and see Return of the Forbidden Planet, several of whom already did with us in the 90s. Um, so it was a bit of a reunion on that front as well. Well, um, I'm going to try and go. I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that quite exactly, but I'm, I'm going to have to try because this isn't... So there's, there's always some production of Return of the Forbidden Planet somewhere, but this is one of those things where... <sighs> An amateur production kind of won't do, or if it will, it ha they have to get it right. Because a lot of people put this show on, and you'll find clips of this on YouTube, and I urge you not to. Um, there's, there's recordings of loads of productions of the show on YouTube, which is usually schools or amateur productions where you'll have the cast, and they're just sort of on the stage, saying words and singing and dancing about, which you shouldn't do. And meanwhile, there's a band playing the songs. That's not what Return of the Forbidden Planet is supposed to be. It's supposed to be that they they are the same people. The cast play the music. It's not so much a musical with a band. It's a band with a plot. Uh, that's what it is. It's a concert with a plot. And um, but this is one of those. This this is one of the proper productions. Um, and I know that because the cast is stellar. We've got um, if you if you were with us because uh, a few of you did see the 2015 production. Um, same cookie, he's 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 reprising his role. It's, it was him that told me that it was on. Um, Ariel, the robot. Oh my word! Wait till you see what Frida Ruth can do. Um, he's you wouldn't have you won't have seen him if you saw that production. But he was my first. This is the this is the fire breathing robot. Well, he's not always a fire breathing robot, but he is when Frido plays him because Frido can breathe fire. Um, he he was my first uh, Ariel. He was he played the character in. Um, to, uh, 1994 when I first saw it and again in um, 2002 when it appeared to be the last time we would see it and then it came back in 2015 and he was supposed to play it then but he broke his leg and you can't roller skate and breathe fire and play trombone solos and sing and kick your legs high with a broken leg uh, so he didn't and um the original cookie, oh my word, Matt Devitt, who I've not seen in anything since 1996's production, uh, where he reprised the role, already making fun of the fact that he was too old to play it. Um, but he was so brilliant. Um, and the reason, the, one of the key reasons a cookie is good or not is just, you know, apart from just being good, Cookie gets to do this just ridiculously epic guitar solo in the middle of the show and it's I, I i keep thinking that i'm that i should by now be like old enough to be able to say like oh no that was just baby's first guitar solo actually it turns out that it you know it's just kind of normal and if i've been to more gigs I, no uh, now in my 30s i can tell you that actually yes you're unlikely to see a more epic guitar solo anywhere than <laughs> than if you go to see Return of the Forbidden Planet, and so they have to find a cookie who can do that. Um, but uh, he's simply too old now, so now he's playing the sort of mad scientist character. Uh, Prospero! Now, the educated among you will have realised that I'm starting to say character names that sound like they're from The Tempest. That's because the whole thing is kind of a joke on The Tempest, because the film Forbidden Planet was, you know, it used the basic plot of The Tempest, but restaged it in space. This takes that, and takes the joke further, and kind of makes out that Shakespeare wrote it that way and that it was supposed to be set in space to begin with. So it's all Shakespeare jokes. It's flipping brilliant. Go and see it. Especially if you're anywhere in the northern bit of England. Um, it's basically this month. It, uh, sorry, next month. It's August the 9th to the 1st of September. Now, I can't go on the 1st of September because that's... I think I think it's the 2nd of September. My uh, next live show is on. Um, Alcon in Leicester. So, make it a round trip, why don't you? Do 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 do. Although, the tickets for Alcon are considerably more expensive than the tickets for Return of the Planet. Planet is, I think it's like 20 quid a ticket. The Alcon tickets are far more expensive and they're not worth it for my, 
if, if all you're there for is my show. If you want to go to an anime con and you're into that convention or what, I don't know. I've never, I don't even know what else happens at the convention. I don't know anything about it. I just go on stage, I do my thing, I go home. So, <laughs> but if you're rolling in cash and you want to come and see me live, then do that. Make it a round trip. Um, but I won't accept you in the audience unless you also went to Return of the Moon Planet. That's what he's... Other people I will. <laughs> but if you've gone on a special journey because you heard me talk about it on this stream, you have to see Planet. Otherwise, I'll give you a brow beating. Um, I won't... I will. I'll give them a brow beating. I won't do anything. I won't actually, like, beat their brows physically. Um, so, do we have... Right, why isn't this happening? We need iron, and we need whatever that is, coal, probably. Um, but not just iron ore, like made iron, which is happening over here. So he's got some ore, he needs some coal. Well, there's a coal mine, so I don't know what his problem is. Let's uh, connect him up. Just in case that helps, you know. And, let's see if there's any more coal to be had. Because if there is... I can surround the place with them. Do you know what? I feel safe in saying preemptively that there will be. I'm just going to put down an, a, an old, an old, a coal mine. No. Yes. Dee 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 do. Guy and I are both lis enjoying listening to you, Potter, says Wrangleberry. Oh, that's good. Hello, says Brain Mage. Oh, hello there, Brain Mage. My wife is watching you play this thing and is talking and is talking to you like you can hear her. I think she's slipping. <laughs> hello there. You're in the you're in the south of England. Go and get those uh, Forbidden Planet tickets, the barrier. God, you'd like Return of the Forbidden Planet. Have you already seen it? Oh, God, you'd like it so much. Oh, my God. See if you can. I don't know if I can at this stage. We're try. We're going to try. Yeah, we've just had a phone call of doom, though, from Abby's mum saying, Are you free in August? And of course, yeah, but only if we don't go to Forbidden Planet. So we may have to put it aside for a familial visit. Oh, God. Can you get him to come? That'd be the best. Really? Well, there we go then. Why don't we annoy, annoy arrange it with? The, <laughs> why don't we annoy them with it? <laughs> why don't we arrange it with them? Right. Uh, I don't, why did I put a nice up there? Oh yeah, just to have this bit of mountain. That's why. Oh, 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 oh look. I mean, it's difficult to tell, but I'm I'm stockpiling land. Put it that way. And I'm stockpiling gold. And I'm stockpiling Simon the Sorcerer Grooves. I wonder if I can have a fight yet. No. Why not? Okay. How are things going down here? We've got our mint here that should be making coins. But we would be able to see sweet little coins if it could. What does it need? Aha! Uh, ha, look, it needs something. Coal, I think. But it has got one gold and one coal, so it should be able to make a coin. Meanwhile, check it out. Coal everywhere. Coal, coal, coal. Although, should already be making some coal, so I don't know why there. Otherwise, there's a coal shortage down at the mint. What's happening in the storehouse? No, I'm trying to click the storehouse. Nothing. What a load of waste. Another three pigs. And two golds. Well. The yellows haven't taken over my gold mines yet, so that's pretty good. Put them in the gold mine and start them digging at once. That's a good idea. <laughs> gotcha, Miss McDade. <laughs> a, bit of, a little bit of cabbage patch kids for you there. Now, I'm not going to be able to expand in this direction because there's trues in the woo. So I shall put a woo cooter there and I shall connect him up to the... Uh, do I want to go that way? I think there's other baddies that way, actually. So, maybe for that reason I should. So, this is going alright so far. Now, I confess I don't know what the win state of this level is. Um, in Settlers 2, they uh, they brought in a campaign... Well, it was a campaign in Settlers 1, but it was you know, just 
there were levels and you just played them. Um, in Settlers 2, you actually found... You, you dug your way up to portals. And, and everybody went, you know, like... Yippee! And jumped in the portal. And that was... Then that was you and you were off on to the next level. This, though, is not the uh, Roman campaign, which is the basic Settlers 2 campaign. This is the world campaign, and I've never played it. I had the uh, expansion disc, but... Uh, on which it came, but I've I've never actually played it. But I mean, you know, it's much the same as any other settlers level when it comes down to it. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm I was sorry, I was chuckling at a tweet. Uh, punk proletarian tweeted reports coming out that Elon Musk upset at a blue hedgehog repeatedly thwarting his dumbass plans. <laughs> And there was a reply to that, but I'm not going to read it because it's interestingly close to a concept for a comic that Abby's had. Um, and I don't want it to look as if uh, we nicked it from this tweet. We didn't. And it wasn't sufficiently close to the tweet. To be nicked. Uh, get rid of all the messages. It's always telling me messages, and I don't care about a single one of them, because, you know, I'm going to go back and forth. I'm going to see what's going on. They're building that, and then down here there's nothing happening. Oh, but there should be, because I want to know how my iron stuff's getting on. Oh, there we go. 50%. That's not too bad. I still need more coal. I don't know why they haven't got more coal than they have. They need coal as well. Maybe that's why. Well, I've got another coal mine in the works, so... Yeah, this is the weird part of the game where you end up getting pigs just sitting around everywhere. Dead pigs. And in fact, yes, have they... Oops, sorry. Have they seen fit to put a little bit of blood on the pig? Or is that meant... Is that like a little mark? You know, like... To say which settler's pigs it is, you know. Like farmers do. Although I don't know if they do that to their pigs. They do their sheep. Oh, here we go! Look! A coin! He's going to put it down at this flag here. Now, this isn't going to be a very long stream. Um, I know this is extremely Moorish, and last time I played it, I ended up playing it for way too long. There we go, let's put another coin in. Um, but uh, dinner's on the go, so, you know. Oh, look what he's doing. Donk! There we go, the iconic Settler's Donker. Um, iconic because he appeared in the intro to Settler's 1 with something of a exasperated expression on his face. Looked a bit strained. Do, 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 do. Still not enough resources up here for him to build his little thingy. And in fact, actually, let's help out with that. Bop. Said my phone. Quite aggressively, I think. Yeah, that's there you go. Get it all out. We'll have a woodcutter. We'll have a sawmill. Shush. We'll have a forester. The woodcutter cuts down trees. The forester plants more trees for him to cut down. And the sawmill saws them into planks or boards, depending on what game you're in. Oh yes, I was saying earlier that in future games, we're going to be seeing women. Yes. Um, in Settlers 6, I believe it takes that long for them to come in. Um, women appear on the scene, but they're not, uh, you know, workers. They are spouses. Um, and I know that doesn't sound very good, and that sounds kind of sexist. But wait till you see the spouse mechanism. It's actually quite lovely. Um, they all go and have a dance in the town square, and they meet spouses. It's brilliant. Um, so you'll see that. But, uh, but then Settlers 7, pretty much the last Settlers that came out... Uh, just some of the people are women in that one. You know, they just kind of fixed it. I mean, I suppose you could say that some of the settlers in this are women. You can't really tell from this distance, can you? We all, it's safe to say the game's designers considered them to be men. But, uh, no reason why they can't be women. No reason why they can't all be women. Look at all these women. I'm going to have to start calling it the Settle Hers. 
Sorry. <laughs> There's been another round of that today um, because uh, the designs for She-Ra came out for the new She-Ra cartoon, and it's really cool. And cartoon, uh, I was going to say cartoon men. Oh, I'm going to go with that. Cartoon men all over the internet are having to pretend that they didn't just sort of sp just spew into their own laps anytime anyone suggested they watch She-Ra before today. Um, and now they're die-hard fans, and it's it's being ruined because she doesn't look sexy enough. <laughs> no, they did not watch She-Ra. Can you hear that lovely band saw that's going on outside? That's always good, isn't it? They uh, there's a there's a group of men with a band saw. It's not just one man with a band saw. They uh, they come in from far and wide, and they set up whenever I'm streaming or recording songs. Uh, and they uh... oh, speaking of which. Can I try? Can I play you something? Yes, you've just. You may have noticed a grey band across your screen. That is fine. Don't worry about that. That is deliberate. It's. I didn't deliberately want it to be a band, and it's about to not be a band. If my hard drives can be convinced to spin up in time. For the loading of this project. Here we go. Here we will go. In just a moment. Oh, oh no, there we go. Ugh, stretches across the chat. Sorry about that, it's a bit grotesque. Um, but, uh, oh, is that the dinner? That's not the dinner. So we might as well enjoy this. This is just something I'm doing. Check it out. No, but it is actually quite good. If I don't do that over the top of it. Ooh, but I want to! Bum, 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 bum. I'm probably out of sync. No, oh, I'm probably out of sync, so I shouldn't clap along. Sorry about the clipping. Should be better now. I'm sort of still working on it after that. Um, but we can set up a little loop. And... Yeah... So yeah, that's that's going on. That's fun, isn't it? Let's turn those grunts and squeaks back down again. Oh, I'm now streaming at zero kilobytes per second, so that's probably going to be very good quality, isn't it? Wow, yeah. I don't know if that... Uh, 
don't know if it, I don't know if I was streaming then or if I cut out for a bit. Because it said I was streaming at 0 KB per second. Um, right, back to this then. I've probably... Oh, I thought I was going to be doing terribly badly because I dallied. But actually, uh, the trouble is at this point, I need someone to cut down these trees before I can go any further in that direction. Because I can build up here, right? But, do you know what I mean? It, it kind of, I can't connect it up with a path because there's trees in the way. I suppose, I wonder if... Yeah, so if I put a stone cutter, it'll take a long time, but it might actually clear some of this out of my way and then I could actually build on this land. That'd be nice. Oh, there we go. Purple team down here. Um, Over here, project this way. It's coming along. That seems built to me, so now we're just waiting for a knight to come. Oh, and here come oh, multiple knights. Are they both going the same way? They are. I wonder why they're doing that. Oh. Oh, that's fine. Um, yep. Can I attack yet? No. Time to attack. 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 Um... Well, I seem to be doing alright, though. I think by this time I'd been... I'd started to lose previously, so we're doing okay. Now, over here, what we should have is... Ah, he's still not got his resources. Because he could be making swords and shields, and that'd be a lot of fun. They haven't got enough coal. Is it coal that they need? Or is it something else? There's coal. Alright, well, um, as I, I also want to put in a metalwork so that I can make some tools. I don't know what they're for in this game. In other games, I know. Brain Mage says she's still talking to me. Hello. Hello, Wangleberry. Um, obviously, I can't actually hear what you're saying, so if you, want, if you actually want me to know, you're going to have to type it to me. But other than that, we're all right. No reason why all this shouldn't be connected up, is there? That's just... No, that's nonsense. Don't be an idiot. That's what I meant. Thank you. So, it's almost time for our dins. We're going to go and eat the dins. Uh, no, it's not, no, no, not quite, but it will be. So, it's worth it's worth alerting to the... Uh, Alertington! It's worth visiting Alertington. Which is the place where they alert you to information. Such as the fact that it's got all oh, the black team. They're very cheeky. Uh, that was a that was a Father Ted quote, which sort of uh there's a sour taste to that these days. Because of how the um Arthur Matthews insists he had a writing partner, and since he seems to have disappeared off the face of the planet, it's presumably a sad situation for him. Although, I haven't heard much out of him about it, so perhaps it's not sad at all. Um, yeah, let's have a stonemason down here. I'm going to do a couple more geologists over here, because if there's more gold, I ought to be having it, shouldn't I? Mind you, it comes at a cost. Uh, mining te uh, Miners, I think, need FUD. I'm not sure what FUD they need. Maybe it says. Oops. Oh, uh, all the FUD. They need fish, bread, and meat. Crickles. Well, okay, well... I've got a farm down here, so maybe I can put a baker. There. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'd need a mill first, wouldn't I? Uh, where shall I... If I put a mill there, and a baker there... Well, that's not very efficient.
And we'll just sort of see how that goes. Thing is, I want... Oh, he's not building any farms down this way, so I'll put one there. Flag there. No! Oh, okay. Can I put that there? And then can I, like, cut that road? And put it there, and then that one there. There we go, lovely. That's some settling. That's how you play settlers. Yeah, let's quickly have a barracks there. Gold found. Hello. Exactly what I was interested in hearing about. Oh, wow, it's the gold I've already got. No attack possible. Uh-oh. There's an attack possible down here, and it's them what's launching it. <coughs> We're just going to have to hope for the best here, lads. Look at them, here they come. The purple team. Look at them. Hurry it up, lads. Ugh, I've said lads twice now. Let's not say that anymore. To now, where are they off? Oh no, are they attacking this one right in the middle? If they if they succeed in attacking one right in the middle, does that mean they just get like all the land anywhere around it? No? Where are they going? Speed up. Where the hell are they going? I didn't know this was possible. What are they doing? Are they attacking the headquarters? Didn't know you could do that. Oh, are they close enough because of that border there? But, okay, the guys have to walk all the way around, but technically they're in range. Jeez! They are! Oh, no! Alright, well, the blue knights are going to line up to fight the purple knights. For the possession of, like, my main castle. Presumably if they get that, they get everything. Okay, I'm winning. Winning. Winning! Yes! Okay. And those knights, presumably, will now have leveled up. Or they've got a bit of XP. Because apparently, fighting does level you up. Send a scout down there. Oh, I know. We don't need to. We can have a lookout tower, can we? Yes! No. Can we know? Yes. Lots of lovely animals to listen to, but not so many to actually see and therefore hunt. Oh, there's one. There's some. Okay. If I put a hunter up here. Uh, but we're back to my problem from before. Oh, actually... Ah, too close to a existing knight's hut. No, no. Yes. Wait, do you see that? Is there like loads of other buildings I can have? Yeah, what the hell? Oh, right. Oh, it's just because I can have a guardhouse. Do I want a guardhouse there? No, not really. Yes! Oh, brilliant! Did not expect that. So that means I can prob... No. Yes! Sweetums! Oh, no! Oh, no! Hooray! Oh, that was me! Yeah, I've got a gold knight with a plume! Wow! How did that happen? When did I get a plume knight? Yes! Oh, cool. Still can't attack. How come I can't attack them, but they can attack me? What's going on? Eh. Alright, well. 
What's he got? Oh, bread. Oh, yeah. Speaking of. I'm making some bread down here, aren't I? Am I? Bakery? Mill. Okay, well, I will be. And you know what? Why don't we have another farm there? Ugh. Ugh, that's why. Ah, but. What if I break that road? Yeah, and then. Yeah, and then. No. Yeah. Of course, they have to send more carriers out now, but. Whatever. And then I'll be able to have, you know, more um, <clears throat> bakers and mills over there. Oh, Brain Mage is in the comments there. I think she's confused. It's a shame. Please tell her this isn't a phone call thing. It's possibly the heat. She legit just said hello back to you. Oh, God, this is sad. Hello, Angleberry! Hello! Hey, Abby! I need to take her to the knacker's yard now. Balk her up like a bad old horse. She had a good run. Uh, Max says, standing behind his garden wall, I hear you're a very bad person now, Graham. Uh, oh, she did it again. Apparently Wangleberry's telling me that I need ham and I need fish. Well, quite right. Um, the ham... Is sort of happening. I've got ham all over the place. I'm okay for ham. There's a bit of fish going on. What's that? That's not a fisherman. What is it? It's just some stuff. Some scum. That's a fisherman. He's not scum. Scum, 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 scum. scum. Uh, put a fisherman there, couldn't I? But is that too. I want to leave space around the farm, really. Um. Uh, where's a good place to put a fisherman? Is that a fisherman? Have I put one there? No, oh, that's fine then. I've got two fishermen, that's fine. Oh, look, I'm not going to... Oh, no, that's around a farm. Oh, there, why not? Fish. Oh, here's some... Whoa! Whoa! Here is an exodus of knights. What's going on? Where are they off to? What on earth? Okay, he's going off on his own, so I've probably just built a night hut down there. But these guys, millions of little fellows, where are they off? Okay, they're splitting up a bit. Huh. Just seems to be some worms reinforcements for the existing... Um, whoops! Okay. Right, well, there we are then. Aha! I can attack! Time to attack! Time to attack! I don't know how the fighting works in this. I wish I could, like, select that knight's hurt and attack, and then select that knight's hurt and attack, but... That's a bit too RTS for this game. Ooh! Ooh, I'm sending a plume knight. Yeah, you've not got a plume, have you? Ooh, there's a big jumping hit there. Yeah. There we go, got it back. Thanks very much. Oh. Bonk. Yeah. The bonks of Bottle Bay. See how you like this. Oh, what's that? Oh no, they've got big towers. Oh, they're doing better than me then. Big towers haven't appeared on my... Unless... Catapult? C -c -c catapult Can I have a catapult? I, I presume we would need it to be closer to the... 
to the edge, right? Let's wait till we've got some land over here, but then let's have a catapult. Let's have a catapult over here. You know what, let's just have a catapult now for them. Catapult. I've ne I don't think I've ever had a catapult. Yes! Okay, let's save. Empty tray! Ooh! You don't hear tray very often, do you? Um, right. Yellow's up there. Let's do some scouting. Scouty. Scouty. Geologist. I was just thinking I needed a stone cutter over here, but he's not uh, cutting much of that stone. But then he is but one man, and I've given him the job of many. And I don't really see how I can put... I mean, I could put one there, but I don't think I could then connect it up. Oh, good! Great! Oh, this is all going alright, isn't it? Geologist. Geologist. Now, one thing that Settlers 2 lacks that Settlers 1 had was you can tell the game that you want to be called back to here in, like, and then you can say 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, and this you can't, so you just have to remember where you put a geologist and hope that you happen to see what he found before he stops, before the signs go away, because they go away quite quickly. Case in point. Never did get to find out whether there's anything in here. Oh, oh! Back to the chat. Oh my god, how have you not got a mill already? Oh bless her, she's fading. Well, I think I, I think I do have a mill, but I just didn't have one up here. Wait. No, I didn't have a mill. Oh dear. Oh silly Billy. Right, well, I've got one now, but really what that tells us is I need another one. Oh, that's right, I'm going to have one over here in, in the end. Uh-oh! Where's he going? How about you, sir? Yes. Oh, silly! That's not connected up, so this isn't getting built. Ugh, what an idiot. Okay. We can expand in that direction, can't we? We can go over there. It's just my lust for land, like... I don't need any of this. <laughs> no. That's <laughs> stupid. I quite like it, though. <laughs> That's better. Oh, right, yeah, there's billions of golds up here, so let's have another gold mine. Oh. Okay, so there's iron here. No. Oh.
Thank you. Thank you. And there's coal here. Might as well, eh? Well, what I can do, actually, is I can I just get rid of that and then connect that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have a catapult over here, aren't I? Oh. Well, you can't. You don't have candlestick makers in this game, and in fact, I don't think there's a, any settlers game with candlestick makers. That's a, that's an oversight. Of course, you know it's because they can't think of a reason to have candlestick makers to aid the economy or whatever. But think harder, fellas. Oh, birds. Well, yeah, but I don't care about my birds really. Like they just tell me. Oh, I see what you mean. They'll launch me straight to where the geologists are finding the stuff, even if the signs have gone away, won't they? Billy! That's no use. Yeah, see, that's one of my previous times. Oh. Hey, you got it back. Oh, no. Right, okay, yeah, I actually, in fact, do need to... Uh, definitely follow all of my messages from now on. Right. <laughs> do we have some fush? Some fashion chops. And a hunter. Let's have our first hunter. But can I connect him up? No. Or. Yes! I feel like there's... I've got this vague memory that the, there's there's a Settlers game where you can press a button that turns a cluster of things into one of these neat little crossroads, but I could be making that entirely up in my headums. Um, in fact, what I could be thinking of is that uh, I would sometimes, you know, look at uh, computer players, computer control players, AIs, and... What do I mean by that? Well, anyway... Uh, I would look at the enemy or whatever, and they would have a lot of those proper sort of starfish crossroads. So I would think to myself, oh, well, I'm supposed to have that as well. Then. Well, I've only got one well. That's not very good, is it? Oh, goo goo. The water found. Well, that's exactly what I was just thinking about. Oh, look at it. Well, that's not very good. That's no use to me. Ah, oh, no, are we? Well, looks like we won, if we were. No more fish! Pull me another brew, son! I'll build another one. To the revolution! Oh, where should I put it? Over here? No, he's already doing that bit. How about over here? Gotta be some fish over there.
Okay, well, they, this seems to be a peaceful border now. We've got a well there instead of a barracks, so... They can probably attack me from that, but... Can I attack them? No. Well, anyway. Uh, and then here's me building a barracks of my own, so that's not going to be peaceful for long, is it? Let's cut down some more of these trees. Ooh, it's ever so finicky. Not letting me connect flags up. Alright, there's loads of animals here. Let's have a hunter. No, that's a well. It was a well before, wasn't it? I tried to put a hunter down and I put a well down, didn't I? You were probably saying to yourself, Dave, why did you put a well when you wanted a hunter? Where was that, I wonder? Was it over here? I don't remember where that was. Yes, now. I've not seen a lot of swords, but... Who's on fire there? Oh, yes, that's my old fishery. Uh, not seeing a lot of swords, so you're not pulling your weight. Because you've not got enough iron. Why not? You... What's going on? Why hasn't he got any coal? Okay, it's going to be because... These roads are dumb, so let's get rid of that. Let's connect that to there, and that to there. There we go, That's that's got to be better, hasn't it? No, what will be even better is that to there, and then they'll take the coal down there. And why not that to there? Yeah, there we go. I don't know where they're supposed to take anything to anywhere now, but they'll figure it out. Okay. Wow, this is the longest 20 minutes. Oh, fair enough. It was advertised as a 20 minute recipe, you see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's stone in the hills, and I've never really known what you're supposed to do about that. I suppose I'll build a granite mine, but like I've got plenty of stone and stone cutters, so... It's not actually important to me. Look at it all. Not too much stone running. Oh, have you just... Ooh, that's... Ooh, right. I'll have to recommission a catapult down here, won't I? Honk. Well, you may honk. Can I? No. What's this? House 10%? Oh, I don't know what that did. Uh oh, here comes a soldier. Oh, he's just going in there. Oh, that's that turns that on and off. Whoa! Oh, now I've got information about stuff. Oh, I, mm, I don't want that. Oh, there we go. Cool. Go to headquarters. Cool. Cool. Oh, and if you don't already know what the observation window is from the last time we played. <laughs> we can follow a deer about. And we can keep the camera locked on this deer. We just go off and do whatever we want. Deer's not doing much at the moment. There it goes. Tootly tumpty tootly tum tootly tumpty doo. That's enough of that. Oh, I've got four wibbles. Military building occupied. Go oh, go oh, oh. Oh, I was going to say, they're not going to like that. And indeed they didn't, and we're having a fight. Oh, I lost. Oh, no, we're having another fight. They're also going for this one. Okay, but I won that one. But whatever this was, fishery, 
is now not connected up. I have to go quite far to get it connected up. Oh, you're a pain, you lot. You really are a pain. Nothing I can do about you, though. Perhaps I ought to go and read the manual. Find out how I'm supposed to actually be fighting these people. What? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, tweet! Get it! Thanks, tweet. I've done that. Right. See, it's still nice, but it's getting a bit aggravating now. <laughs> Because there's all these other rotters everywhere. And for just reasons that don't seem to be explained, I can't fight them, but they can fight me. Oh, I guess it's just because there's no coins here. And maybe no swords! I've still not got any swords. Because, you know, I'll be able to see them. Moving around on the landscape, and I go, ooh, swords! Yeah, he's got no resources. He's got no coal. Is that coal? Yeah, it is. We've established it's coal. Why isn't this coal mine? Giving many coal? Because it needs more bread and meat. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Okay. Time for some more biggeries. Big farm. No. Big farm. Big farm. Um, any space for a new pig farm down here? There will be if I push south there, but I don't really need to. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pig farm. Oh, but for pig farms, I need wells. Because that is where the farm commissioner lives. Who do you have to... Ooh! This fella... Oh, okay. I thought he had a purple helmet, but he hasn't. What's happening up here? Why are they, why are they up here? Usually they go and do it outside the night's hut. Oh, I guess in this one they do it anywhere around the hexagon that is the night's hut. Oh, can you tell I'm getting a bit sleepy? I bet you can. Where's my gold? There, mint. He's doing alright, except... Oh no, he's got some coal as well. There, that's what I can do. I can have loads more coal mines up here, because... We're running short on coal downstairs. And hopefully, if I make more of it here, some of it will end up down there. Did I just hear a fight? Hmm. Must have won. Farm time. And farm time. And dinner time. And mill time. And Bakery gar. Oh, wait. 
Let's swap them. Uh. I can't swap them, I've just scuppered it. Alright, well it Ah get off! Okay, farm time. Ooh. And pig farm time. Is that built? Yes. Okay, and let's leave it there. And let's uh oh 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 coal found, good, 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 good. Iron found, dry good, water found. Because there's gonna be a pig farm there, so that's yes, that's good news. I'm not seeing the water that's been oh there it is. Well that's no good, I've already built there. Yes, into a road building. I need water there really. Okay, get rid of that. Water found over here. Same bit that I'm on. Water found here. That's better. Another well there. And that's all. So now I'll save the game. If I find the strength. It is difficult. And there we go. That's our stream for today. Thanks everybody. We'll have a little bit more another time. Love you so much, Dave, says Freaky Lady Moonbeam. Oh, well, we love you too. You're a chirpy little thing. What mean fake Romans? Yeah, or are they? We're the Romans. I don't know what... Well, no, I don't know if we are. Perhaps we're the Europeans this time round. Anyway, bye! It's time for bye. Are you ready? Bye! Um, and of course I'm also speaking directly to Wangleberry when I say bye, but also to the rest of you, bye. No, thanks for coming to the stream, Max. Uh, oh, and uh, Three Letter Max here has a stream that, that he'll be doing later on. I don't know what of, but they're all good. It's worth having a look, so uh, tune into that um, at about now. Bye!